Sara Sadak Khadam Al Shari continues her brilliant form as she draws with Lev Aronian in round four of the Gibraltar Masters. Let's get her thoughts. Sara, another brilliant result today. You drew with Levon Aronian. How do you feel? Oh, I feel really great because yesterday when I saw the pairings, I was like very happy because we don't really get the chance to play them in other tournaments. So I thought whatever happens, I'm just going to enjoy the game. And well, today I think I just tried my best. At some point I was, uh, after the opening, I can say I was happy with my position, but maybe I just defended well. And then I, I liked my position a lot, but at some point I just blundered a pound. So... After that, it was a bit difficult to defend, but um, yeah, I think I managed to defend. <laughs> yes, indeed, you did manage. Now, after you blundered a pawn, did you uh, really think or believe that you might get a chance to get back into the game? Well, no, I was so upset because I thought I had good chances after the opening, so... Uh, I was thinking that I missed my chance <laughs> and actually it was a big one because uh, you don't really get this kind of position with black against such a player so I was a bit upset but then I thought I should just keep trying and I don't know I just find some ideas probably he missed something so it worked. Is Levon the strongest player you've ever played? Yeah he's the strongest by far. <laughs> right now in the opening when he took the d4 pawn with the knight you seemed a little surprised. Uh, no, I was not. Actually, I checked this opening before the game, but uh, because he played everything, I had to prepare almost all the chess <laughs> lines with black, so uh, it was a bit difficult for me to remember all this, so I just tried to remember what my file was. Actually, I don't know if I played well there or not, but um, I was just thinking about that. I was not surprised. And after he played h4, you, were managed, you managed to get your pawn back. Uh, uh, what do you think? Was it an oversight on his part? Well, I think he uh, didn't think that I could just take the palm back and his attack wouldn't work. Because I, uh, also after he wanted to play king g2 and after king g2 he, he uh, saw that after rook a4 and then check I have rook a1 and then he has to give perpetual. So it's not more than that. And I think maybe he under, uh, I mean, underestimated the attack. But uh, well, I'm really happy because <laughs> the position looked very scary, but uh, I didn't see much for him, so I think it was equal after that. Three and a half out of four. How does that feel? <laughs> well, I don't know really what to say because it's just more than what, I mean, it's like a dream, but uh, I just try to enjoy the rest of the rounds and not put uh, pressure on myself. So let's see what happens next. Now you've got a big selection for your masterclass tonight. Have you decided what you're going to show us? Well, uh, before, I mean, this tournament, I thought if I have a masterclass, I would show one of the games I played in, in an open tournament in France or maybe a game I played in, in the Bundesliga. But now I think I should just show <laughs> all these three games because I like them so much. So maybe just some positions, of, some part of the games of these three rounds. Yeah. Congratulations, Sarah, and enjoy your evening. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. Thank you.